Hi, welcome to the channel and today I'm going to be showing you how you can create this effect in Word. So I'm going to teach you how to insert your image and crop it. I'm going to teach you how to insert all the text and how to customize it and also how you can get that slightly professional look with the different fonts and font colors. So let's go to a new document. So I'm going to insert my image first. So I'm going to go to insert picture click on the drop down now I'm going to select from stock images which are free and available in Word but you can obviously select your own picture by selecting picture from file and you can search for your image here or you can simply scroll down and just browse all the different images so I'm going to select this image here as you saw earlier and click insert now when you insert an image into Word you can't move it so make sure it's selected go to picture format Go to wrap text, click on the drop down and select in front of text. And now you can either resize your photograph like this just by pulling it out and resizing it across your page or you can crop it, it's up to you. So if you want to crop it, just select it, go to picture format, go to the crop tool here and then simply grab one of these black markers and move it to where you want the image to be cropped. So let's say, for example, I wanted to go to about here and then just press enter. Now we can move that image across the page. So we've got this white space above here, which we're going to fill. So go to insert shapes, click on the drop down and select the square and then just click and draw out a shape that will cover that white space above. Now once you've selected it, all shapes will be inserted with a borderline and a fill colour. So when you select it, go to shape format and here is the shape fill colour and here is the shape outline. If you click on the drop down, just select no outline because we don't want an outline for this particular demonstration. But we also want to create a gradient. Now if you click on shape fill, you have a variety of different options but you also have this option here to make a gradient. But as you can see, it's only selected the colors here. So if we go to more gradients, then over here, you'll come to a menu called format shape. Go to the bucket icon and go to gradient fill. Now here you've got this slider and you've got these markers. Now you can add or take away any of these markers. Just select it, press add or minus, but to change the color, just select it, go to this color icon here, click on the drop down, select a color of your choice, or in order to create the colors from our image, go down to more colors. Now here you have a color wheel. Now some of you may or may not have this eyedropper tool. Now if you have the eyedropper tool, you can simply click on it, hover anywhere in your picture to select a color. But I'm going to select one very close to this gradient color here. Color will appear here and then you can just click OK. If you don't have the eyedropper at all, you can move this cursor anywhere in the color wheel and then you can also make it lighter or darker in an attempt to match this color here. Then you can go and do exactly the same with this color here. Click on the color icon, go down to more colors once again, either use the eyedropper tool to select the lighter color over this side, or you can simply move this cursor again. Once you're happy with your gradient, you can see the effect, just deselect. Now, if the gradient isn't going in the direction you want, select it, go to direction and click on this icon here. Apologies, you can't see it all because my screen hasn't captured it all. But these will give you the variety of different directions you can make your gradient go. So these are the different effects that you can use with your gradients. Now I'm going to scroll along to the fourth one of the top line, which says linear right. And so I can create almost an identical linear gradient from a slightly darker color to a lighter color. So once you're happy with your page, we're now going to insert our text. So go to insert, go to word art and select this black one here. And then we can insert our text. Once we've done that, I'm just going to extend this box out because we are going to stretch this text across the page. And then select your text. Make sure you've clicked inside and you, your cursor is flashing. A quick way to do this is press Command or Control A to select all the text. Go to the Home tab. I'm going to change my font and I'm going to change mine to this font here. 
and then I'm just going to change the font color and then I'm going to increase the size of it using this increase font size tool I'm just going to keep clicking until I'm happy with the size of my font I want to really stretch out across the page there we go and then deselect it and then click and move it there we go now there's a slight shadow on this word art so select it so go to text options over here and then select this icon select shadow and click on the drop down then go to presets and select no shadow therefore it will take that shadow out if we did this in a text box it wouldn't have the shadow but we still need to take the background of a text box out and the borderline now I'm also going to go down to reflection go to the presets and I'm going to go all the way down to the second row or the middle row and then over to the far right and click full reflection now you can adjust this reflection if you want to and it's down here in this distance slider as you can see if I move this distance slider might be better with the arrow key and once you're happy just use your arrow keys to move that text let's deselect it reselect it if your cursor is inside sometimes to move it you'll need to deselect it first so I'm just going to sit that text on that very faint line that we've got which sits on the top of our image and to make sure it's center aligned go to shape format go to align and select align to center if shape format doesn't appear it's because you haven't selected the text now we're going to do exactly the same down here we're going to go to insert word art click on the black one and then just move it down here just undo that if anything jumps around just go command or control Z and then just repeat your action and again we're going to select some we're going to select this text select all and then I'm going to just type in my text okay we're going to select it all we're going to go to home change it to white we're going to slightly reduce the size of it I'm going to change the font to helivector just reduce the size of the font again then I'm going to go back over to text options go over to this icon here and go to shadow no shadow there we go now before I make any more adjustments I'm actually going to copy and paste this now because I'm going to make some more text here and it's easier to do it at this stage than it is once we've transformed all this text so the easiest way to do it make sure you've deselected it reselected it so there's no cursors inside this text box press down your alt or option key click and drag that's the easiest way to copy and paste anything in word so now I'm just going to select this top word here and I'm going to go up to the color icon here font color and I'm going to go down to more colors and again I'm going to use my eyedropper tool to select a color of choice I'm going to select something from her hair not too dark again you can use your cursor to select a different color you can move it around and use this slider as well to pick the color you want and just click OK so I'm going to go up to the font and I'm going to change it to this one here but I'm going to change it to the condensed extra bold and then I'm going to use this increase font size tool to just keep clicking until I'm happy with the size of that font so that's at 36 and then the font underneath I'm just going to reduce that slightly there we go and then just move that probably to line up with the edge of beauty here if I want to make beauty just that little bit bigger there we go 170 just move that up and then we can just align look to align this margin here with this margin here and again with this one we're going to do something slightly different here we are going to transform some text so now we've inserted our text you can go for any look you want but it's also quite important to make sure that your words are all lined up in the right place so for example this word here probably needs to go down to the next line so let's take that down to the next line you can see it's now knocked season down so I can move that up there we go and once again I'm just going to reduce the size of this font here to match this font here so just reduce the size of it and for this text here 
I'm going to increase the size of it. So select it, increase the size. I'm going to make it bold and I'm going to increase the size like this. Now, the thing that I notice about this is as you increase the font size, there is a bigger gap between the text. Now you could select the text, go up to this icon here, click on the drop down, go to line spacing options, and then you could choose exactly, and then you can reduce the size of it here and click OK, but you can see it doesn't always work. So you're gonna have to play around with it a bit to find the right number, but there is an easy way. So if we just select this word first, I'm gonna copy it, Command or Control C, and then I'm going to delete it. Then I'm going to copy this text box again, as we showed you before, as I showed you before, hit the Alt key, click and drag. Then I'm just going to select all of this text I'm going to paste in the word first that I copied earlier and then I'm simply going to move it down. Now I can put this anywhere I want so I can put it really close if I want to. I can take it far away. It's completely up to me. But I can do that so easily without having to try and work out what the gap will be between those texts. So once I've done that, if I want to increase or decrease the size of this font or change it, so I'm going to take the bold off. So I'm just going to click bold, there we go. Once I'm happy, I can actually make this one group. So if I select this text here first, hold down my command or control key, select this one as well, go to shape format, go to group and select group. Now this is all one group and I can move it wherever I want and line it up with this text here. So to make sure it's all lined up, if I select this box here, Select this box by holding down the command or control key to select them both. Go to align and select align to left. Now they will all be perfectly lined up. And if you want to move them, just use your arrow key. So select them and just move them up or down. Now, once you're happy and you've finished, you can then save this as a PDF. So if you go to file, save as, go to file format, click on the drop down and just simply select PDF and then just click save. Alternatively, you can actually save this whole thing as an image. And in order to do that, if you select all of the items, the easiest way to select all of the items is to select anything, go to shape format, go to selection pane, make sure you've selected group here, right click on your document, go down to save as picture. Then you can name it whatever you like. I'm gonna save it to my desktop. You can change the file type if you want to. I've saved this as a PNG, but if you click on the drop down, you've got other options. And then just click Save. So let's open a new document. Now, if I go to Insert, Pictures, click on the drop down, select Picture from File. I've got Picture 1 here, and click Insert. Now you'll see that there are a few anomalies. The text has moved and there is a white area here. Now that's because Word has selected absolutely everything, even those things that went outside the page. So the way you can correct this is select it, go to picture format and select crop and simply crop out that section there. Make sure there's equal distance between the text here and the margin or the edge of the image as it is here and then just click OK or the return key. Once you're happy, don't forget, you can right click, go to wrap text and select in front of text. This will allow you to move it around your document. So now you can simply resize it to your document. Or of course, you can use the image online, on social media, websites, or you can simply save it and print it out. So I hope that's all helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.